you see if you are well prepared then this subject can be highly rewarding and scoring okay why i am saying this hello everyone welcome to plutus ias so in this particular video lecture i will talk about why one should opt for public administration as the optional subject okay definitely all of us are very much aware of that uh, there are so many optionals available right but those who will be thinking of taking public administration as the optional so unke dimag mein you know they they will be thinking that whether to opt for public administration or not so for that this video will be very very important so please concentrate well right so as we understand that public administration right so it is dealing with the government administration or the management side that is available the the concept of management that is available in case of private organizations the public administration we can say is available for the government organizations or the government for that matter or uh, we we also call it as the action part of the government like whatever government is doing the machinery of the government is performing any task that is something related to public administration okay so let us understand why one should opt for public administration here you can see a very worried man that i want to know why just like you people when you are very new and coming to this preparation it may be a question to you let's address this question right so first of all here you can see that public administration is easy to understand and action part of the government why i am calling it as the easy to understand because as i mentioned that public administration is related to the action part of the government when it is action part of the government then definitely it simply means that whatever government is doing and government is doing anything for what to bring about the welfare of the people so government is doing anything that or everything will be coming under the definition of public administration so that's why i mentioned it is easy to understand because it is very much related to you it is very much related to me okay for example if water uh, uh, water crisis are going on in delhi right if government will be taking any measures to you know take care of this issue then certainly this will also be coming under the public administration because it is the responsibility of concerned authority to provide you know the clean drinking water right so that's why we are saying easy to understand under the public administration you will get to know the powers of various authorities for example what are the powers of ias officers what the ias officers can do what the ips officers can do okay and so can we say it is easy to understand and interesting also because ultimately what we are aspiring for we want to become the ias officers so it is very very easy to understand and interesting you will get to know about what uh, what is the hierarchy between ias officers and the ips officers whether the both both are equal at the equal footing or some ias or ips is having more power in comparison to other all these questions you will be uh, uh, you know your questions will be addressed in this subject that is public administration so first point that we are concluding is the public administration is very easy to understand and it is very interesting because it is very much related to our daily life with because it is very much related to uh, us overall we can say that okay so this point is very clear while we are having dilemma while we are having you know <coughs> any confusion in our mind so this point is very clear is easy to understand because it is related to us right now the two related to work of administration which you are aspiring to become already i explained in the previous point that it will be 
public administration will be related to the work of administrator what you are aspiring for you are just want to become the ias officer or the administrators we can say so it is clearly dealing with that clearly dealing with that and you know it is also being said uh in this preparation that uh, or you know or, or not in this preparation any any matter any any you know the task that you are taking for example you are preparing for upsc for example you are going to climb a mountain okay so what is being said it is being said that whatever task you are taking up whatever business you are doing whatever work you are doing you should have complete understanding about that task if you will be having complete understanding that in the month of july if i'll be climbing this particular mountain uh, uh, mountain this you know that these kind of climatic conditions will be there and uh, you know and other other conditions you will be aware of then definitely it will be easy for you to climb that mountain okay so similarly if you want to become the administrator and you are reading you are opting for a subject which is helping you in you know knowing the work of that particular office or the administrator don't you think it is very very important don't you think it should be taken by majority of the people don't you think it will be uh, giving complete information about the uh, administration uh, before actually entering entering into the system right so i hope this is also very clear man lo for example aapne yahan pe public administration mein ko koi cheeze padhi for example you learn about the training of ias officer you do learn about the transfer of ias officer then you will you will be generating the interest in the subject and it is very important and that interest will be motivating you to prepare further motivating motivating you to improve your efforts further so by that logic also we can say we can opt for public administration because it will be making sense it will be helping us in understanding the work of administrator which will be very helpful even after clearing the examination so this point is also very clear i hope right now <clears throat> third point that we have is is very common like it is being said for other optionals as well uh, it is being said for some optionals like uh, philosophy optionals like uh, uh you know anthropology and uh, it is being said for public administration also very small syllabus i have shown here the paper 1 syllabus and the paper 2 syllabus okay just to show you that is, syllabus is very small syllabus is under our control because you know the public administration why we are saying it is the A small syllabus there is so many there are so many logics behind it we know public administration is part of political science political science is called as the mother of public administration public administration is just part of that when it was the public administration was evolved was it it was uh, under the evolution phase it was highlighted also that uh, that we will be understanding in very very detailed in our classes so when public administration was evolving it was highlighted that since the political science is already a discipline it is already a discipline political science is already comprising of public administration then what is the need for creating a separate discipline called as public administration okay so at that point of time woodrow wilson mentioned woodrow wilson mentioned that the political science is something different it is not dealing with the action part of the government pub and uh, political science is about the political decisions making the type of government that should be in place the functioning of the government okay 
the policy making we can say easy to understand but public administration is about implementation of those policies so according woodrow wilson mentioned that there is a difference between public administration and the political science public administration is specifically dealing with the implementation part or the action part of the government where that is de dealing with the policy making so many policies people are making uh, the governments are making whether they are being implemented or not so if we really want to bring about the welfare of the people government is for what government koi bhi banti hai uska kaam kya hai the work of government is to bring about welfare of the people okay so if public administration kind of discipline will not be there then how we will be bringing the welfare of the people it was highlighted and uh, just come uh, coming to this point a small syllabus so we understood that it is part of political science definitely it will be having very less syllabus in comparison to political science and in comparison to other subjects also like geography okay so here what you need to do is that first uh, three four aspects are there three four we can say the uh, uh, parts are there the part one if we are understanding so it will be dealing with the meaning and scope of public administration that in in the beginning we will be understanding the meaning scope and nature of public administration to understand what is public administration all about one okay once you understood this thing then we will be going into we will be going to understand the thoughts of various thinkers various you know theorists regarding the public administration okay the two then we will talk about various systems organizations and we will be applying those principles that we learn from various thinkers right and uh, we will talk about the triple p model we will talk about private organization how how they function what what kind of things motivates people what factors play role while people are working we will understand all the things right and uh, so this is two and the paper two if we are talking about it is completely polity except for one or two units it is completely polity so if you are opting for public administration as the optional then definitely it is a very very good choice according to me you can you can feel that my optional is public administration that's why i'm uh, you know talking like this but no certainly it is true that paper 2 of public administration is completely comprising of the polity ultimately you will be going through the polity okay so in other way you will be preparing for public administration paper 2 also so small syllabus easy to revise it is the kind of you know the syllabus it is having the kind of syllabus which will be you know which can be revised in just one and half months one months like uh, the way this time we are having only two months for the you know uh, mains examination people are worrying how to cover the syllabus so if you are having this kind of small syllabus subject definitely you can revise very easily okay so now next point so huge amount of study material available for the public administration optional so <coughs> definitely material is not a problem so many material is available we will not talk talk about this you know uh, further because it is easy to understand material is available simple now you see if you are well prepared then this subject can be highly rewarding and scoring okay why i am saying this because in maths in maths you may have aware of that uh, if you are solving the questions and you are coming to the right answer you will be getting full marks so it is the public administration is also a kind of technical subject if not exactly like mathematics obviously if not exactly like physics obviously okay but it has technical uh, technicalities it has technicalities and you know there are uh, so many concepts which are related to management so i used to say people that if you like the organization if you like the management then this public administration is a kind of subject which you you, you should opt for because you know 
इट इज अबाउट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज अबाउट मैनेजमेंट इट इज अबाउट ब्रिंगिंग अबाउट एफिशियंसी इफेक्टिवनेस सो दो पीपल हु आर वेरी ऑर्गेनाइज वेरी सिंसियर वेरी एफिशियंट पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन बिलोंग्स टू दैम एंड वंस यू आर इन दैट जोन देन इट बिकम्स इफ यू आर लाइक यू आर वेल प्रिपेयर okay you have gone through the syllabus well covered significant sources then it will be very rewarding and scoring definitely definitely now i'll address one question here if you will be uh, peop- i recommend people to watch this session completely because the kind of argument i am adding they need it they need to be understood right so <clears throat> what i'm highlighting here is that uh, you know if uh, i am highlighting here that if you are well prepared then this subject can be highly rewarding okay can be highly rewarding so definitely you can have a question that uh, then why so many people are not opting for public administration nowadays the simple answer to this particular question is that in comparison to politic uh, public administration political science looks easy to people sociology looks easy to people looks less technical to people and it is true also up to some extent and nowadays we have seen a trend that so many people like in comparison to last 5 years so many people are coming for preparation nowadays okay so when large number of people are coming to preparation and majority of the people are thinking for psir and the sociology or any uh, optional for that matter the popular optional you can say anthropology we can say so if suppose 100 people are coming to preparation and out of 60 took the psir out of you know or for that matter 60 took the anthropology or for like out of 100 only in one scenario different different scenario i'm talking about in third scenario we are saying out of 160 people took the anthro now out of like out those 100 people were writing the mains examination okay and 60 out of them were psir when result will be coming then which optional people will be having uh, more number in the list definitely there is a possibility that most of the people will be belonging to the psir बिकॉज जब ज्यादा लोग ले ही रहे हैं वो ऑप्शनल तो अल्टीमेटली रिजल्ट भी उनका ही आएगा ना सो द लॉजिक इज वेरी क्लियर इफ यू आर वेल प्रिपेयर यू नीड नॉट टू थिंक अबाउट वेदर दिस ऑप्शनल विल बी रिवॉर्डिंग वेदर दिस ऑप्शनल विल बी यू नो डिफिकल्ट टू प्रिपेयर नो एवरी ऑप्शनल इज इक्वल एवरी ऑप्शनल इज हैविंग सम डिफिकल्टी ओके एंड इट्स ओन कैरेक्टर सो एवरी ऑप्शन विल हैव दैट you need to understand you need to understand the option you need to devote time you need to you know fall in uh, you know uh, we can say uh, love with your subject definitely it will be rewarding any option uh, we can say for that matter every year people are coming from various optionals it is not about the popular and the rewarding you know the optional any subject you will be well prepared uh you will be you know getting marks but here i have written that it will be rewarding because of the technical nature of the subject that uh, certain principles if you will be able to catch and that is very easy to understand then definitely this will be very very rewarding subject for you right now the next this is the most important which we should consider actually so overlap with gs syllabus now let me explain now let me explain see when you are going to again the same example when you are going to achieve any task right any task you are going to achieve then you are very organized you are managing the time that this x x quantity i'll be completing in this this particular time okay and then y quantity i will be completing in this time and in this particular duration right or, or particular day so ultimately this kind of approach will be helping you 
everywhere everywhere irrespective of you know uh, anything any technicality any any uh, tough nature uh, any any you know difficulty level of the subject but this approach will be helping what i said is simplifying more if i am saying suppose this is your starting point okay start this is start and this is your final point this is your final point right so what i am conveying here is that if you are from starting from here or we can call it as the target this is your target right you are starting from here reaching up to the target now you are the kind of person who is very organized you are planning for this area also that how exactly you will be reaching from this point to this point 1 2 then we have the 3 okay how you are reaching to 2 to 3 you have separate plan you have separate you know tools and techniques to reach here and then likewise okay so completely you are organized completely you are well planned and then you are reaching here okay so this is the generally generally i am speaking this is the general characteristics of the public administration students public administration students these are the general characteristics because i believe that those people who will be you know very organized they will be they will tend to opt for public administration optional people from the engineering background people from the management background or for that matter humanity background all those people who are willing to opt for public administration they are some or the other way very very organized people i can guarantee that i can guarantee that they are very very organized people so what is what the point what was the point that if you are here and this is your target you you are achieving this target you can start that this is the 2024 july 2024 and this is 2025 upsc exam so you are reaching to the your target okay and for that purpose you have a very very well planned kind of thing definitely there are higher chances of your success one okay now now we will talk about some uh aspect related to it okay so how exactly so here you see now when i am talking about overlap with gs syllabus if anyone will be opting for public administration as the optional i mentioned that it will be very beneficial because it is having overlap with the subject okay one first of all gs paper 2 public administration will have overlap with the gs paper 2 that is polity and governance i mentioned in the beginning only that paper 2 of public administration will be more or less polity so polity and governance that is part of gs paper 2 exactly you will get to know about the powers of union government the powers of state government the relation between center and state in polity also you will be reading in public administration also you will be reading now <coughs> governance the governance is what bringing about the like providing the resources to the people that to effectively suppose government is having the pds system public distribution system then governance is provide that uh, pds system effectively without any leakages that is something called as governance so all that will be available under the public administration because public administration is all about this making you know governance for example in 2021 mains examination there was a question i'll not write but because all these things we will understand in the detail in detail in our classes so in 2021 upsc asked a question that is public administration is about governing the self organized networks okay public administration is about governing the self organized entities we can say for example for example we have the ngos for example we have sgs for example we have the pgs 
that is pressure groups for example we have the vos that is voluntary organizations okay so it is said that public administration is about managing organizing all these things same kind of things about all these things you will be studying you will be uh, in governance and same will be available in the public administration and exactly upsc asked question from this also okay so this is the short duration uh, class that's why we are not going into that detail but definitely we will be covering so first point that i mentioned here is that uh, polity and governance polity and governance part will be definitely taken care of and i can guarantee this thing that the people who will be having public administration is the optional they will be having far better understanding of governance in comparison to other optional people this is guarantee because the way we will understand the governance the way we will understand how administrators should work will be very very different okay now helpful in essay and interview how it will be helpful in essay and interview why essay because essay is about organizing the content because suppose i am asking you tell me the status of education in india it is very easy for you to tell me that this much of literacy rate is there and uh, this much of female literacy is there you can tell me without any issues right but when i will ask you to tell me this thing in thousand words or write in thousand words definitely you will be facing some issues it will not be that easy for you to tell okay but if you will be having some certain structure certain organization in your mind then definitely you can explain that point you will be able to explain so that's why when you will be studying the public administration it will help you with regard to organization with regard to structure and content wise also it will be providing so much of insight with respect to the essays okay for example essays on health or education by having understanding of public administration you will be in a position to organize the content because you will have the knowledge about the you know the roles of various authorities so that you can use definitely for that other knowledge is knowledge will also required but it will be helpful and in interview it will be very helpful because when interviewer are asking question why you are opting for ips as your first preference why you are opting for ips as your first preference people used to give the general answer that i want to serve in the defense forces right i want to work in the police forces that's that is my passion passion is fine and answer is also fine but what if they are asking question that tell me the role of ips officers what are the roles and responsibilities of ips officers my dear you may be in problem you may be a problem because you may not be aware of the technicalities the roles and responsibilities of ips officer but being the public administration student definitely you will be in a position to tell the roles and responsibility of ips or the ias officers right so and so many aspects related to administration you will be already aware of so will be helpful in interview then we have the economy financial administration uh, okay so you will surprise to know that uh, public administration is also useful in gs paper 3 because financial administration and financial management two chapters are there in the paper 1 and paper 2 which will be dealing with the economy same kind of things you will be reading in your gs economy and public administration also then gs paper 3 we will have the disaster management clearly one topic called disaster management we will cover under the public administration it is also part of gs paper 3 and then we have the security forces and agencies it is internal security that is part of pgs paper 3 clearly we will talk about that also as i already mentioned we will talk about various kinds of authorities okay now <coughs> four is public service delivery public service delivery rti citizen charter public services public service values public services value so ethics like the polit governance i mentioned 
two things separately i am writing here the governance the governance and ethics and ethics all these the kind of things that are mentioned here definitely there will be they, it will be public administration will be helpful in all these things but particularly i am talking about governance and ethics will be kind of subjects which you will not be required to read again if you have understood if you have done with your public or administration optional well because it will be dealing with almost every aspect related to governance and ethics you will be in a strong position to have your opinion when people are asking question okay so this is one now next these are the recent toppers that i have mentioned not that important for discussion point of view but these are the toppers who have scored decently so we can summarize every optional is equally good and when it comes to public administration it is small syllabus easy to understand interesting helpful in many subjects of gs so without any doubt i will recommend everyone who is thinking of public administration optional just opt for it and work hard and succeed in the exam thank you